हेलो वेलकम टू ईपीजी पी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर गौरव शाह पीएचडी एच मास कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल टॉक अबाउट द चेंज द चेंजिंग परस्पेक्टिवस ऑफ सोसाइटी टूवर्ड्स वेमेन इन फिल्म्स this module will enable you to describe the relationships between films society and women this module will also enable you to analyze the role of women in earlier films from this module you will be able to analyze the role of women in contemporary bollywood films this module will also help you to figure out the impact of role of women in films on society this module will also help you to analyze the challenge that the women face as a character in contemporary films friends earlier in bollywood movies women were shown to be in subjugation to the male character either they were dependent upon the male character or were helping them in the role but never dominating them they were more of an entertainer and as a decker but now things have changed now women as the main protagonist in hindi films can be seen and it is appreciated and it has a positive impact on society now the films gives a message to the society now let us go through the whole module part by part let me first narrate you an interesting fact born in august 1915 in badayu ismat chugati is a member of the pantheon of urdu literature her radical prose indomitable spirit and revolutionary ideas made her a voice for the voiceless in a deeply patriarchal society confronting age old taboos and prejudices without fear an inspirational figure for generations her interventions in the various inter nikain conflicts of gender and class in the subcontinent are as valid today as when she wrote them her writing took these complex debates from the realm of the abstract and made them accessible to the masses she was not afraid to provoke not to stand up for her right to provoke she was a progressive but never an ideologue she was an iconoclast who became an icon the perspectives about women in films as we have discussed already that indian society is a patriarchal one so we can see that women have always been subservient to men films have always represented women in stereotyped ways films not only depict women in several fixed roles but also build a negative perception towards women in masses in hindi cinema women are often depicted as weak marginalized and an object of entertainment objectification of women has led to becoming vulnerable in society films have depicted negative notions about women which seem to have infected the society depiction of women in films mostly in movies of 80s and 90s women were portrayed as marginalized and stigmatized figures in the society they were represented as homemakers sacrificing her dreams for the sake of societal norms and as entertainers singing dancing and romancing with a hero the portrayal of a protagonist sister's character was limited to tying rakhi and getting kidnapped by antagonist widows were depicted as value laden and emotionless they lived in isolation the vid- widows were portrayed as someone whose life was colorless and they had no right to be happy in films widows wore white sari only however widows may not wear white sari in their day to day life marginalized generally in these films women were shown inferior to the hero to show the masculinity of protagonist or antagonist these female characters were depicted as subservient to the male characters hindi films show the character of mothers sisters lovers and wives as vulnerable and the antagonists take revenge by kidnapping murdering or molesting female characters 
In Indian films, usually the story revolves around the hero. He is shown as, as sympathizing and protecting the female characters in films. Violence and harassment against them are complementary in many films. In women, films were always depicted as weak and vulnerable. They were also depicted as someone who can't be independent. Films like The Hage, Dev, Bivi Ho Aisi, Pati Parmeshwar depicted weak women. Women were shown to be loyal and obedient to their husbands. Through these films, patriarchal values have been institutionalized. In most of the films, depiction of daughters or sisters is limited to marriage, raksha bandham and kidnapping by villain. Rural women are also portrayed as poor, urging lala for money. Also, they are depicted as illiterate and living in a hut or mud house. Sexual exploitation of women characters by the antagonist form the plot of a storyline as well. By and large, women characters are restricted to being an arm candy. Women are portrayed as feeble mortals, whereas men are shown to be strong and macho. Serving entertainment purpose. In Bollywood, romantic, dancing, ballet, cabaret and item songs are order of the day. Without item songs, no films are released. In the films of Bollywood, muscular heroes take the center stage and heroines to be more glamorous and have appealing look. As films are made for the entertainment purpose of masses, the most susceptible component of entertainment in film are characters of heroines. They serve the purpose of entertainment for the audiences. Romancing with hero in park, mountain or lake is common in films. They have to dance with the hero in all kinds of locations. Item songs are very prominent in Bollywood. Amongst all big budget or multi star films have an item song. At times, item songs become the criteria for success of a film. Item songs and dances are often performed by a scantily, scantily clad female actor whose character is not part of the film but comes on the screen in guest appearance. These are unwanted but necessary doses of entertainment. What does Who does not remember Mehbooba Mehbooba item song from the film Sholi? Heroines have to be fair, beautiful and sensual, irrespective of the kind of roles they have in films. They have to entertain the audience with her body, figure, sensual action and behavior. Objectification of women In Hindi cinema, there is formula for making commercially hit films which nowadays is followed by almost every filmmaker. Women characters have to be beautiful, irrespective of being of roles being played by them. These days, item songs are necessary to make a film successful. Nowadays, the lyrics of may, many songs like Tu Cheez Badi Hai Mast Mast Mohra, Munni Badnaam Hui Dabang and Sheila Ki Jawani Agnipat contain words which demean women. After discussing about various instances, we can say that Indian women portrays women as a sex object and endorses the objectified male gaze. Ila Patel in his research representation of women in mass media says semiotic analysis of films shows that in cinema women are represented as what they represent about themselves for men and not what they actually signify depiction of women in the contemporary film in 1991 india opened its market through globalization and liberalization after liberalization indian economy has changed drastically with the help of technical advancement the process of modernization has started with the advancement of technology attitude has changed both in cinema and society Development gears towards change with that depiction of women in films has also changed. Now women are getting space, time and strong characters to play in films. Women oriented films are being produced and directed by famous directors. This has led to the paradigm shift in depiction of women in films from entertainment to empowerment. Fighting for rights. Some sense of sensibility is entering Bollywood films. These, there are paradigm shift seen in contemporary films towards depiction of women in films. Now films are produced on women issues and their problems. In several films, they are portrayed as fighting for rights. Women characters are slowly and steadily becoming strong, independent and fighting for rights in society. Released in 2014, film Queen is one of the examples of a young and confident middle class girl in Delhi. Two days prior to her marriage, her fiancé refuses to marry her because she, he wants to marry a girl who is confident and modern. He thinks that Rani is conservative and a traditional girl. She is shocked but she moves on. She goes to Paris and according to her pre-booked honeymoon, there she enjoyed her life and explored many things. After returning home, Vijay wants to get married to her, but this time she dumps him. In this film, the character of Rani is depicted as having low confidence with simple background when she begins her life, but she evolves into a confident and courageous girl. Ultimately, she developed into a character of courage and dignity. No One Killed Jessica was released in 2011. The film is based on the murder case of model Jessica Lal in Delhi. Jessica was shot dead in a pub in Delhi by Manu Sharma, who is a strong political leader's son. Jessica got justice after a long battle fought in the court of law. No one killed Jessica depicted two women characters who fought for justice for Jessica, Jessica's sister and a journalist. 
portrayed in lead roles or characters. Earlier in Bollywood, female characters were generally depicted as submissive, passive, and secondary, but in change scenarios, women characters are shown as strong and confident. They are playing lead role in films. They are portrayed as main characters. Recently, many films were released where women were depicted as the main characters, like Piku, Tanu Vets Manu, Tanu Vets Manu Returns, Mary Com, Aniston, Bob, Bobby Jasus, Gulab Gang, Dirty Picture, Kahani, Shakde, and many more. First, let us discuss about film Piku, where Piku character's name is the central character in the film. Piku Deepa, Deepika Padukone is the daughter of an 80-year-old Abhitabh Bachchan who is suffering from the problem of constipation. She is not getting married because she wants to take care, care of her father. The film all, also has famous star Irfan Khan. It shows the maturity of Bollywood that in the presence of two big actors, women character gets a lead role. Similarly, Tanu Vets Manu and Tanu Vets Manu Returns are solely based on female character called Tanu in the Indian. In the film, she is shown breaking all the images and stereotypes related to an Indian girl. The character of Tanu is so loud and strong that she is not bothered to drink or smoke in front of her fiancé or lover then. In Kahani, Vidya Bakshi, Vidya Balan, a spy is shown roaming around the streets of Kolkata in search of her husband's killer. In spite of her pregnancy, she is shown to be focused to her mission and searches the antagonist and kills him. Produced by Yashraj Films and directed by Shim, Shimit Amin, Shagde is a much celebrated movie in India. Shagde tells the story of Indian women's hockey team clinching the World Cup by overcoming several odds. However, King of Bollywood Shah Rukh Khan plays the role of a coach named Kabir Khan but the main characters happen to those 14 girls who are the members of the hockey team. Against all odds, they win the World Cup thanks to their zeal and enthusiasm to excel in their life. Entering into male-dominated profession as portrayed in films. Bollywood is now experimenting with films and objects. Producers and directors are making films on unconventional theme and issues. They are not sticking to masala movies only. So women characters are evolving into characters of strong, educated, self-dependent women and playing roles in male-dominated professions. In Revolver, Rani Kana Ranaut's character is of a gangster. Her character easily fights and guns down machines. She has a large number of male associates and subordinates, she easily fires guns at her rivals. In Kahani, Vidya Bakshi, Vidya Balan acts in the role of a spy. The profession of a spy or an agent is largely dominated by males. It is a good sign that Bollywood is casting women for these kind of challenging roles. In another film called Bobby Jasus, Vidya Balan acts in the role of a de detective. Rani Mukherjee acts in the role of a strict police officer in Mardani, dealing with drug mafia and human trafficking gangs. Earlier, women police were mainly used as a decorative element and show to be subservient to the male protagonist. In patriarchal society like India, it is not considered good for girls to take part in sports. When it comes to sports like boxing and hockey, it is very hard to believe that women can take part in these sports. But the situation is changing now in society and also in films. Films like Shakde and Maricom have shown the way to us. In Indian politics, there are many women leaders, but in Bollywood, it's rare to see a woman as a political leader. Contemporary cinema is shown the women's character as political leaders such as Rajniti and Gulab Gang. Issue based film on women. There are many problems and issues related to women in India such as honor killing, female feticide, etc. Honor killing is basically the murder of a girl whom marries a person outside her caste or community only for the sake of a so called honor of the community or the family that girl is annihilated. Killers are prominent in the northern part of the country, especially in Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. India is now facing the problem of sex ratio. Decreasing number of girls per 100 boys is alarming. This is happening because of female feticide. In the pursuit of male child, people are aborting their girl child in the womb. This has led to a grave consequence of decreasing number of girls in the country. Bollywood is not silent on this serious problem. There are many films made on this issue. Interesting fact. In the midst of increasing intercaste marriages and prevailing women's separation, NH10 encourages India to plunge into liberalism and women empowerment. The movie is a superb attempt to address issues of violence and injustice amongst the sexes. On the issue of honor killing, a number of films have been made. Some of them are Khap, a story of honor killing, Akrosh, Love, Sex or Dokha, and recently released NH10. Matrubhumi, a nation without women, was based on female feticide, though the purpose of films is entertainment through an effort is made to create awareness in audiences. Future perspectives of women related films. After economic liberalization, the Indian markets were open to investment. This economic liberalization brought many positive things to India. It also brought 
technical advancement and social consciousness in the society. These three things, investment, technical advancement and social consciousness, created an environment in which films started raising women related issues. This does not stick to masala movie formula only. They are experimenting with different subjects. The path of for women oriented films in Bollywood is open now. Another technical advancement led to creation of multi-screen from single screen. Multiplex gives producers space to release low budget films every week. Women oriented films. The future of women oriented films is very bright. Directors and film producers are getting confidence that they can make films centered on women and it would be economically viable. This is the reason behind release of so many films on women. These films are getting good responses from both the audiences and critics. A few months ago, the two women-centric films were released. One was Piku and other was Tanu Vets Manu Returns. Both the films got huge appreciations from audiences and critics. These are typical Bollywood commercial films in which women characters are central. It shows the maturity of both Bollywood industry and audience. Both have generated interest in making and viewing films on women. Earlier, they were depicted as submissive, exploited, and subservient to male characters. But in recent times, their characters are strong, confident, and are fighting for their rights. These roles are defining the new and modern women of changing age India. In Piku, the protagonist Deepika Padukone takes care of her aging father. She works in a corporate office and takes care of him. She doesn't want to get married because she doesn't want to leave him alone. Kangana Ranaut's film Tanu Vets Manu returns, which is the sequel of Tanu Vets Manu. Tanu is the central character in the film Tanu. Kangana Ranaut is shown breaking the stereotype images built by society related to Indian girls. She is dominant character in the film. She loves her freedom and enjoys her life. Acceptance of films in society. At present, women-oriented films are getting good response. From being confined to the role of homemaker who depends on a male member, women is now being shown as an independent individual. These kinds of characters and films are being accepted in society. Acceptability of such films is a very good sign for modern India. All the films which are mentioned above were socially and economically successful. In traditional Indian society, the role of Silk Smita in Dirty Picture was portrayed as bold and sexy. Dirty Picture was a hit and received national awards. This shows how Indian cinema society has gradually evolved from traditional stereotype to modern, liberal and democratic one. Outcome of such films in business. In today's time, filmmaking is pure business. It needs huge investments. Investors or producers want profit from films. In this context, women-oriented films are doing good business. None of the above-mentioned films has failed in box office. If we talk about latest releases in Bollywood, Tanu Vets Manu Returns were declared as the first blockbuster of 2015. It has done a business of 144.30 crore. Piku is another super hit movie of 2015. It earned 120 crore. Kahani and Dirty Picture have had done a business of 100 crore and 120 crore respectively. Films depicting the role of sports women, Chakde and Mary Com box office collection were 100 crore and 107 crore. Profit of English English and Queen were 90 and 58 crore respectively. Did you know? Mary Com is the only women boxer to have won a medal in each one of the six world championships. Friends, as I said earlier in the introductory part of the module, that there was a time when women were shown to the victim, shown to be the dependent upon the male member of the society. But now things have changed. After the investment, huge investment, advancement in technology, post liberalization in 91, a kind of social consciousness has entered into our society. And that has helped to change the dynamics of Indian cinema. Now we see that there are a lot of movies which are women centric movies where the main character is women and they are very, very profitable financially also. Movies like Tanu Vets Manu, Tanu Vets Manu Returns, Dirty Picture, English to English, Chakde, etc. These were all women centric movies where the main character was played by a woman. And in some films like Piku, the female character had two very experienced and stalwarts of Indian cinema, Mita Bachchan and Irfan Khan. But then also, the female character of Deepika Padukane was able to leave her impression. And the impression was very lauded and appreciated. So in the end, we can say that as times have changed, society has changed, 
and so do Indian movies and therefore the perspective of society towards women have also changed. Thank you.